It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1554, recorded Thursday, January 21st, 2016. Coffee Klutz. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have a way to keep your wine fresh, your coffee fresh, and your reading fresh. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! now. And I hope you are ready for the Gizwiz, because here he is, the maestro of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing good, and you, sir? Doing fantastic. Doing really good. 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 For are really you, no are... reason. I mean, just it's just been a good day, you know. Uh, well, doing the good, doing the Gizwiz. Giz we Wiz. love all. We love our fans. We love our Patreon members, and uh, I know it gets us going. So, you prepared for the snow out there? Uh, what? Snow. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I guess it's not going that far. Uh, the, yes, the, the state East of Coast. emergency. State of emergency. <laughs> if, seriously, if there was snow in California, we should, even an inch, just shut the state down. I mean. Oh, you know what? It's very funny because I've been out there and have ridden with people in cars, and they told me that a, shower, a sun shower pretty much brings traffic to all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, people <laughs> so. don't know. People don't understand. Yeah, They're so used so. to to gunning it around corners and always having dry roads. And then also it never rains, so you got all the little road debris that the moment that it starts to rain, it all lifts off of the ground just enough to cause everyone to slide everywhere. Oh, oh that's so funny. So, that's yeah, so it's uh, yeah. not good, yeah. even if it rains uh, oh. here in at least Southern California. No, we're expecting a nor'easter on Saturday um and so it was very funny because I said to Dennis, I bought all this canvas. I, was, I had this bright idea to cover the back of my boat, which is open, with a canvas, a slanted canvas, so the snow would roll off it. And I bought this, and I bought framing, and I bought all this stuff. And then this morning, as I'm getting ready to go down to the marina, there is an email from the parks department due to the impending windstorm, please remove all canvas from your boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I thought, well, you just second. saved me. Uh, <laughs> I, thank goodness. I got that email before I put the canvas up. Because, yeah. Oh gosh. Um, yeah. Well, part of me is wondering is like canvas. Do they mean sales or what you were going to do? Th uh, you know, it, I I don't know what, what they meant. That's interesting. You don't want to That's get hit by it either way. So no, that is correct. That yeah. is correct. The, the thing with windstorms is if you if you have and and this goes for even if you're covering a load on a truck or something, if you don't have it totally uh, tied up carefully and a corner breaks loose, usually. Those corners have little pieces of metal, you know, that you put the, the line grommets. through. Yeah. Yes. And you go down the highway with that thing beating against your car or your truck, it's bad news. Yeah. Does a lot that does a lot of damage. Yeah. So my boat is out in the open, my drop cam's aimed at the dock, and we'll see what happens. Gosh, that's a scary thought. because uh, you know, snow is just frozen water. And boats don't do that great once you get water into the middle of the boat. Yeah, the the problem is mainly is weight. So yeah. I, I basically so moved as, as many things forward on the boat so that the back of the boat is uh, can. Yeah. The, the, the big problem with the boat is when the back of the boat goes low enough so that water can start going in the pipes that normally water is pushed out of by the bilge pumps. So you don't want that to happen. But I think, I think we're all set. Yeah, good, 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 good. As uh, Fox Post says, Dominion would be lost. <laughs> is that your boat's name, Dominion? No, no, no. The Minion is uh, Gilligan's. You, do you even oh, know Gilligan's yes, Island? Gilligan's Island, yes, yeah. yes, yes. They went out I, for a three-hour tour. Yes, and, I uh, posted something online about that, and, and evidently it's an inside joke because back in the days when Gilligan's Island was made, I think the uh, head of the FCC was Newton Minow, and <laughs> someone thinks that 
that's why they named the ship with the hole in it the minnow. Who knows? The Who real knows? story. Who knows? Who kids? What is your boat's name? Uh, all my boats are called Applause. I call all oh, my boats Applause. So applause. my work boat is Applause 26. Wow. You've had 26 boats? I have never owned a car, and I have had 26 boats. Wow. Wow. Everything from a 10-foot race boat to a 50-foot houseboat and everything in between. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I'm an avid, but I've done the entire East Coast. Wow. In a car, I've driven... To 7-Eleven. 200 <laughs> miles. Yeah. That's very impressive. I guess with that, let's, let's jump into some impressive Let's gadgets. jump into stuff. Okay, we're going to do uh, this week and next week we're going to do more CES stuff because uh, this year, very few iPhone cases, a lot of unusual stuff. Something that caught my eye is if you uh, use readers, magnifying glasses to read, you'll be interested in thin optics. Take a peek. So this is for the uh, i6. And what is that little uh, case here? Well, you know what? You go to dial your phone and you really can't see the keys. So built in are these little thin optics reading glasses. The universal pod case that attaches to any device that you want to carry around with you with the glasses sells for $19.95 at retail. And then the mobile phone case that you showed them is $38.95 online at thinoptics.com and Amazon. And then uh, what power magnifications do you make them in? Plus one, plus 1.5, 1 and plus two. So that covers about 98% of anyone's needs. And they're out now? They're out now. They're on thinoptics.com and Amazon. They're also at Safeway. They're at Best Bed Bath & Beyond. They're in uh, uh, Shopco, Fry's Electronics, and Select uh, Target and CVS. Store. Wow. And they're also on this table. <laughs> yes. Very they observant were. you are. Nothing gets yeah, past Yeah, I really you. am. I like I to, really am. <laughs> You uh, said, and, uh, and let's take a, or you said, I had my eye on, uh, you had made some pun right before we cut over to the video. Oh, well, thanks for catching made that. Thanks, yeah, yeah. It's very good. And, and, and funny thing is on their web, you know, isn't point one magnification just normal glass? You would think so, because if you multiplied anything by one, it would be the same. If you had 2020 vision times one, it would still be 2020 vision. Yeah. A anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I thought that was strange. And then when I went to their website, it turns out their website says that it's available in 1.50, 2, and 2.50, which I think makes more sense. Yeah. Um, that would. Anyway, the, the stuff is made out of. Did I write out uh, what it's made out of? It's a shatterproof polycarbonate, and these frames. Oh yeah, they, they have a little video there of them testing the frames. Did I send you the link? Yeah, to that? here I have the YouTube or the yeah. video video. So let me play that one here of them. Uh, testing I, can, I well, while while the video starts, I'll show you me bending mine. Yeah, <laughs> but to to make sure that the, they can. Uh, they have a little machine that, and that is really bending that far back. Yeah, you can back. see that that, it's a weird angle too, that it kind of bends it in, and yeah. And they do that 4,000 times, and then they do, this is what it is like, is when you put it back in the case, you kind of fold it, and so they do that 4,000 times. Well, so if you know. order, yeah, if you order a pair, just say, don't send me the ones that were in the machine. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. I, the, I trust this, your testing, but I don't want the tested version. Da, da, da. And I, I guess they charge shipping, but it does say on the website, uh, if you ever break a pair, we will replace them at any time. So there you go. And they just kind of no, stick on it. Yeah, I was wondering, how do yeah, they stick yeah, to your yeah, nose? You know what? I'll just do it. I'll just, so you pull them apart like that. And there you go. <laughs> Looks like the Matrix. Wow. Yeah, that does. Wow. Uh, That's really cool looking. Yeah, they're, they're, they're neat. There's no front and back. And uh, what I like about them is that you can, uh, with the little stick-on pod, they can go anywhere. Or if you want, you can buy an iPhone uh, or a Galaxy. I think they make a Galaxy S5 and X, S6 version where these fit right into, oh, I have one here, actually. This is the Galaxy S5 case. And you just... Take that, and I'll hold it up again. And it's a little hard doing it backwards where I can't see. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. <laughs> Let me see. And I have to you turn it around. It so you, you just slide it in. And, nice. And 
set to go. So that's thin optics. And you're right. I'm seeing the 1.52. There, there you go. Low range. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. You go. And then you can uh, choose a phone case, Classes Plus phone case, and let's see if they have the style. Here, let's, let's go through this. Jet Black, my favorite. Here we are. Ah, here we are. Here's the phone cases. Uh, 6 uh, uh, Plus and 6S Plus, uh, 5C, 6 and 6S, 4 and 4S, 5, S5, the Samsung S5 and iPhone 5 and 5S. So There you uh, go. They got that. the iPhones covered. Yeah, no <laughs> joke. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. So that's, uh, that's a neat little gadget. I like it. it. it, it I like that a lot. Very cool. Uh, our second gadget is also neat. Uh, it's called the Zult, and we'll do a little video about the Zult and then talk about it. Try to end the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. This looks familiar. You go to a convention, you carry your charger for your laptop, charger for your phone, all those charges. Well, you don't need to anymore because this is Zolt. This is really neat. So, this is enough to power your laptop, but look on the side, we can charge two other devices. The hotel plug is not in a convenient place. Look at that. You just turn it to face the way you want. The kit includes the Zolt charger. You get a kit to power different laptops. And if you need it, you have an Apple laptop, but it's a $20 different adapter. But the whole kit, the way it is here, with the uh, charger and the cables, under a hundred bucks, ninety nine ninety nine, and they are at gozolt.com. A really neat gadget, and it even comes in colors. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Madest writer, and the Gizwiz, not carrying this anymore. Bye. Interesting. Okay. Now, uh, if that looks familiar, mm -hmm. I may I may have talked about it last year. It just shows you how long it takes a product to get to the market. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm not sure if I did it on Gizwiz or ABC, but it was originally shown at last year's CES. Not, they, they only had prototypes, not working models. And I believe it went into the marketplace like in November or December of last year. So it took a very long time. I, I did think they... Uh, you know, having to get converters that worked with 90% of all laptops, I guess, was really an ordeal. And you get nine different tips in the kit to fit your laptop. I have two laptops. It fits one of them. Right now, they're checking to see if they have an adapter that goes on the Acer S7, which I have. Uh, they have the adapter for my Lenovo IdeaPad, but the Acer S7... There's one in there that fits in the slot, but for some reason, I just don't want to plug it into <laughs> to my Acer unless I hear from them saying that it specifically matches the wattage I need for the S7. Yeah, wow. I mean, they, they, yeah, they have a ton. Oh, they have a God. ton. <laughs> yeah, wow. Just yeah. looking at all these uh, Dell yeah, and they, scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah, scroll. they have tons of uh laptops that they but it's a great idea because just that one thing and and the, and the plug itself folds back in so it, it's real easy to carry it's so easy to carry uh, i don't know what i did with it on my desk but now i just found it <laughs> so it weighs it weighs three ounces so that's it and that just uh, replaces the big old the, 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 the big old brick, exactly. Right. And then you fold, fold that out on the bottom to put in the hotel. And then, as I said, if you don't like the way it faces, you turn this and the plug can go in a different direction. And then on the side, one of these uh, takes the USB cable that goes to the adapter in, in the box for your laptop. And then the other two, one can power and charge your phone. One can power and charge your tablet. So it eliminates carrying a lot of stuff with you, and it comes in a bunch of colors, too. So that's it. It's called the Zolt. The Zolt. Interesting. Z-O-L. Wow. Uh, Tan Dana says, I need 90 watts for my old HP. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, this puts out 70 watts. 90 watts. That's wow. 
<laughs> that is an older computer. Yeah, gosh, 90 watts. You know what's crazy to think, though, is that bulbs would always take 60 watts, is what I would normally plug a bulb into. You know, that's what was my standard go to wattage. And you could, I'd easily get 100 watts. Nowadays, everything is way lower with LEDs and the fluorescence, but in the CFLs. But man, gosh, we were using yeah. 60 watts all over the house. Oh, I know. Well, you know, what's funny is if you have an old dimmer and you put an LED bulb in it, it can't dim it all the way down. It, it stays lit. Right. You have to buy those, specifically yes, dimmable. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, because the old dim is lit. A certain amount of power go through that that sixty watt bulbs didn't even recognize. Yeah, seven seven watts. I don't I don't even yeah. glow for yeah. seven watts. I'm a yeah. sixty watt bulb. Yeah, before you had the sixty watt range of dimmability, but the LED yes. only takes up that much. <laughs> and yeah. So yeah. your dimmer, once you go here, you might be at half, and here you're all the way. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, you have exactly. the rest of the dimmer. <laughs> I know the first time I got one, I go, "What is? Why does this bulb not dim?" And, and I think it was C C C Crane, and they said, "Oh, you you need more exacting dimmers because the old dimmers let too much power go through, and the bulbs are so efficient they they can light with just a, a couple uh, less than a watt of power." Exactly, exactly. Okay, and our third and final. Oh, are you 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 don't drink coffee at all, right? I you know I've actually started drinking decaf. The thing that that hits me with with coffee is that I get uh, a, a, a really jittery from the caffeine, oh. and so I'll just sit there and just like ugh, you know just kind of too much caffeine uh, in coffee. So I I tend to go for decaf. I love the flavor. I love coffee okay. and cream. Oh, and, okay. Okay. Enjoying it, you know, it's warm in the morning. I really love that, uh, but uh, can't can't do uh, caffeinated, very caffeinated at least. All right. Well, well, we have a gadget here for people who are coffee connoisseurs, coffee crazed, coffee. If coffee is the most important thing in your life, this gadget may be for you. Whoop. It is called the Duh. world's this smartest. Is coffee mug because it can Josh what can it do you can pick your temperature and it will keep it for hours on end it'll keep it perfect it's gonna cool it rapidly it'll lock that temperature in for hours on end and it's gonna make your coffee drinking experience perfect now it can cool it and heat it yes it is we have both cooling and heating technology embedded within the mug wow. so we all have the same problem right our coffee is too hot and then it's too cold. You pour your too hot coffee in, you dial in your perfect temperature because everyone has their own. It's gonna rapidly cool it, lock it in for two hours on the go or all day long if you use our charging coaster. Wow, now does this have to be uh, on the cradle for that to happen? Absolutely not, no. We have lithium ion batteries in here just like your cell phone. It's gonna go two hours just like this by itself and then you can charge it using our charging plate for as long as you need. And how much coffee does it hold? So this one is a 12 ounce, that's a tall Starbucks for reference. That is really great. Now is this out now? So we have been uh, on pre-orders on Indiegogo since October 20th of last year. Uh, we're continuing pre-orders on our website. We'll be shipping the Indiegogo orders in April and then we'll be doing next day shipping in May. So we're very, very close and we're very excited to get this out to the public. Great. And the uh, item is called Ember? It is called the Ember Mug, yes. Yeah, so this one is, is pre-order for $129. we are doing our best to keep the price the same. And uh, we're, we're going to be doing plenty of engineering in the coming months to continue to work on the price. $129, the Ember Coffee Mug. Very cool. I cannot believe yeah. that they fit also cooling. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. The thing is, do you have any idea what temperature you like your no, coffee no, or tea that was actually at the best. first thing i thought of is i'd have to figure out what temperature I yeah like. exactly e e exactly it, it is the engineering is amazing i mean um the price is up there i i i, I am assuming just sort of knowing how gadgets work it's the last th cup you'll <laughs> ever need ever that's true that's true <laughs> yeah that's knowing true. how gadgets work however I went to the Indiegogo uh, website, and they have raised 
$337,000. Whoa. They are, I There's believe. There's people who want this. Yes, I believe they are 550% over their goal. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's gone, it up, it's gone up just a touch. Uh, so wow. they're up to 338,000. Um, I know. So if you are coffee crazed, you might be interested in the Ember Tech coffee mug where you dial. Well, first of all, as soon as you get it, I, you'll have to spend the first week trying to find out what your idea. <laughs> I know. It's just like uh, you go. You, uh, here's what you do. You uh, go get a thermometer, it's, you know, CVS or the one at your house. Go to IHOP, enjoy a cup of coffee till it gets to that perfect temperature, and then stick your thermometer in there it. There you go. You know, and figure it, figure it out. You'll look weird, very weird, temperaturing your, your coffee. Um, there, you, there you go. The, the waitress may think, oh, gosh, it's not hot enough. He's going to get really upset, you know. He's checking the, the temperature. But, but you uh, know what? They should have those little hot plates uh, you have a coffee warmer, you know, the thing you plug in the wall. Yeah, and yeah. Well, the, um, but, like my, you know, normal Mr. Coffee has the warmer yeah, yeah. on the, on the thing. Yeah. Right. Uh, restaurants should have a little thing in the corner of the table. So when you get coffee, you just keep it on that. And that you, you sh they should be able to set the dial. Yeah. Yeah. That's that would, perfect. That would be very You should be fancy. able to request, you know, very high end. <laughs> yes, yes. Could yes. I please, you know, you add medium, rare, rare, extra, you know, medium, well. You say, I, I would like it at 95 degrees. I don't know. Gosh, I, I mean, what? <laughs> I guess it's closer to boiling, so it'd be like 120 degrees is what I would like. Um, we should we should <clears throat> we should suggest that to Starbucks. Exactly. So that and now when you go in, you go. I'll have a uh, coca maca laca baca <laughs> with uh, two percent soy. I want the water at one hundred and twenty nine point five. I want the soy milk. I want that to be at eighty seven and a half degrees. And I just want the top four ounces stirred <laughs> and the bottom four ounces. Stacked. Yes. In the middle, uh, make sure it's a vortex. I want like a, hey. like a tornado. Yes. <laughs> That's right. There. I want the Mediterranean vortex. Exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Well, that, I, hey, I think that is quite a gadget. And it's quite a gadget only because it's like an engineering. It, it's, when I you know. think about it, it's all in that mug. And, you know, if you go to their website, there are lots of videos. But when you see one of those mugs apart, you think... You know what? This is more. Th there's a lot that's in this thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you have it, to have it can the battery, decide, oh, the yes. mechanism. I oh mean, oh my gosh, this is too hot. Uh, quick, I see people. I see people. Ice circuit kick in. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. Now you. Uh, there was a video that uh, you mentioned. Oh yes, yes. They're, they're commercial, and let's just watch this. It's kind of funny. How would you like to keep your coffee perfect right through to your last sip? Tantalizing, isn't it? Tantalizing. This is Ember. Whoa. Ember lets you keep Magic. your coffee at the temperature you like for as long as you please. I like mine at 138 degrees. Hot. <laughs> How does Ember do that? Excellent question. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I was getting understand. lost. It won me back with I'm the not fall. A scientist. I'm a British actress. But don't think about that for a minute. Look at the mug. Beautiful, yes. This isn't nuclear fusion or brain surgery here. It's a coffee mug. But it just so happens that it's the best damn coffee mug on this earth. And if you're going to spend $1,000 a year on coffee, why not do it justice with the perfect mug? Amber. <laughs> yeah, no, the same, the same with me. Um, I was watching I was it like... and I thought... Uh, and I also thought... Going, did she yeah. actually fall <laughs> and and they just left it in because it was it was so funny i know she leaps over that counter and I just know. continues. you're just sitting there going <clears throat> like uh this like silly like oh let me walk on this thing i'm gonna crawl over to the camera fall oh okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> leave that in yeah it, it made it it picked it up uh, yeah it really did pick yeah. it up that's so they great. do they do they do have a sense of humor yeah yeah uh, 
You yeah, know I'm what? If you're rip- right, if you spend over a thousand dollars on coffee, what's another hundred and thirty dollars to get a good, great mug for it? Yeah, and I to have it at, at, the, at the same temperature all day. Exactly. exactly, exactly. Or be able to tell what temperature it is right before you drink. Yeah, I agree. With that, I think it is. Ladies time. and gentlemen, our patrons, Patreon members, have decided that Chad's crappy corner will be not so crappy this month. You As know, Chad, you don't need it, but oh, oh, you sorry. might want it. Interruption. Chad, Chad, Chad crappy corner. corner. Get it. <sighs> now, as we've been finding out this month, the crappy corner has not been very crappy. <laughs> it hasn't been. Your subject is gifts you got for Christmas. Gr- gifts that my parents gave me for, or, well, my family gave me for Christmas. I have a big family, and we have multiple Christmases, and we give gifts back and forth at every Christmas, so, or at every party. Uh, so there's a, a lot of, uh, a lot of it going around. So, you had mentioned, uh, that you really enjoyed the champagne recorker, and you were yes, wondering if that yes. would work with, with beer. Well, I don't have the solution to that problem, but I do have the solution for a similar problem, and that is wine. Uh, you open up a bottle of wine, you don't want to drink it all. Wine comes with a cork, so you can just stick the cork back in. Uh, but anytime you open up a bottle of wine, air is the enemy. And so you have a lot of air inside of the bottle that would, you know, preferably you would be able to get rid of this air anytime that you want to reseal the bottle to keep the wine fresh so that you can uh, open it again and enjoy it later, not all at once. Enter in VacuVin. Yes, yes, yes. VacuVin is a way to keep your wine fresh, to add a cork to the top, and then also get rid of that unwanted air inside of the bottle. And if you're wondering if this really works, you can hear me open this cork, and you can hear all the air that uh, will go back into the bottle once I open it. There you go. And so now, and then now it's a very quick and easy. Now open. you have carbonated wine. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's fresh. Um, so uh, here is the cork that it comes with. And most of the uh, mechanism is in the cork. And then, of course, the other part would be in the device to uh, pump the air out of the bottle. Uh, the cork is a silicon. Uh, I actually don't think that it's actually. Uh, silicone. Let me see if it says what it is made out of. I bo- bet that there's a lot of people who are um, allergic to that. So it doesn't say exactly what it's made out of on the packaging. Um, a space age material. Space age material made just for wine bottles. So after you have an open bottle, you place the cap or the topper, the, the cork, right back. It's, I, I, I want us to call it a cork, but really it's not. It's, uh, it's a vacuum vin, I guess. Then you take the pump, which comes uh, in the kit that I got, and you just pump the air out. And you can see what this, this looks like. And you know that you're finished when the pump actually will click. There will be a, an audible click uh, from the pump, and you can hear that. Hear that click? Yeah. Uh, which isn't, isn't there uh, before. Oh, that okay. means that... Enough air is pulled out, you can stop straining your back, and, and uh, uh, you're, you should be good to go. Whenever you want to open the bottle, uh, there is on the top uh, a little sort of knob, which you can pull to either side, and that will release the, uh, the pressure inside. So there you go, and now it's very easy to pull off, wow. just like that. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and reseal it, just so you can hear the difference between just a normal and then the click, which should happen any moment. There you go. I hear it now. I hear yeah. it. So now you know that it's, it's ah. all sealed and, uh, and good to go. Uh, I, I really enjoy this because I enjoy wine, maybe at dinner, whenever I'm you know, just cooking for myself or just at night. But opening up a new bottle... Sometimes I like to go three or four days between uh, getting back to that bottle. So 
I, you know, I'm always worried that I'm just wasting a bottle of wine just to enjoy a single glass. Uh, especially in a house that just has me in it. So you can get it on Amazon. It's $13 and you get two caps. Uh, and a, Oh, so you can seal two different bottles. Exactly. Uh, yeah, oh, that, exactly. Oh, that's great. So you get two caps and uh, one of the vacuum uh, pumps. And then my parents were nice enough to give me another uh, pack of two uh, just uh, caps so that I So could. basically they think you're an alcoholic. Exactly. They know. They okay. know how many bottles. You know, it's also fun because you, let's say you just want to taste one bottle with this meal and then you're going to have a different type of meat the next night and that bottle might not go with that. You could open up multiple bottles and, and really pair your wines accordingly and then wait a while until you get back to, uh, get back to the, the previous bottle. Would you have any idea how long the wine could stay with a vacuum seal? Exactly what I was just looking for. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I believe I remember reading that it lasted about two weeks. Wow. Um, But let me confirm that because I am not seeing um, that at the moment. Here we go. In my experience, it actually depends on the amount of wine left in the bottle. Uh, Amazing because one bottle... uh, was drinkable and didn't taste like vinegar after six days, uh, and then another bottle after only four days. These, these are answers from Amazon, so uh, you can take those um, as you will. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like most of the Amazon reviewers are saying about a week is uh, the most. But you know, it did, it did very well. They got almost fifteen hundred. Uh reviews and it got four and a half out of five stars yeah and i can i can really tell a difference uh between one that i've just put the cork back in and let's sit on sit on the the counter and then one that i have sealed and let sit on the counter uh it definitely tastes a lot more like what i remember the first glass tasting like uh after a few days so um really i'm really happy with this and i would consider buying it uh if I didn't have it now, <laughs> now knowing uh, yeah, no, that I no, like I'm going to get one. I'm going to yeah. get one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. And it's really nice for white wines. Also, you know, it's, it doesn't have a preference of, of color. Uh, I have one of those in my refrigerator right now, so it could be refrigerated and, and whatnot. Uh, I, I think I saw it. Don't use on anything carbonated. Yes. Carbonated, yeah. it wouldn't work. Yeah. Because uh, the vacuum would just pull the carbonated uh, carbonation out of the liquid. And there uh, oh, you know, did you see the pricing on this? Uh, the on the two pack. Or? Yes, yes. Uh, one, one. Uh, let me just get what this thing is named. One. F- All right, so one vi- uh, is twenty is uh, twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Two of them is twenty nine dollars. So you're worse buying two. <laughs> I guess you're right. It should be twenty six dollars. Exactly. So it, it, it's three dollars more if you buy the two pack. <laughs> it so it does get less them, expensive if you buy the five pack, though. So oh, okay. that's good. That's good. But the two pack is definitely a oh loser. My gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always good to know basic math when you go shopping. Yes, exactly. Uh, exactly. I've been caught by that at even a grocery store where you go. Uh, <laughs> This one has 12 ounces, and this one has 24 ounces, exactly double the amount of ounces. But this one, it, you know, the prices don't match up. No, no. Fortunately, a lot of stores do not follow this New York City law, but a lot of the chain stores do, is every price next to it must have the per ounce. Yes, price yes which makes it really easy yes. to oh that's 20 cents an ounce this is 15 cents an ounce this must be the better buy yes uh but yes you're right uh every once in a while two small bottles is cheaper than the giant size yeah yeah and you just kind of go ah because i just don't want to waste all this plastic of the bottles but <laughs> yes that here that i am saving true. money um, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I've in tech in Austin, I remember seeing that. And then it, traveling with Brushwood, there were, uh, states that I were being like, where, where's the per ounce thing. And, uh, I've even seen it as a uh, per tissue or per other like rant, you know, they've come up with some other way to, uh, right. to categorize the two. But, 
Yeah, very, very cool. And, you know, someone asked, Captain Jay asked, does it work with vinegar? I'm sure anything that uh, air affects uh, a liquid and this could sit on top of the bottle head uh, will work great. Uh, you know, it doesn't, abs it doesn't have to be wine. It could be yeah, that's other, great. other liquids that, uh, that are affected by, by uh, air. So I think that's, that's I, I really, really enjoy it. And it's uh, pretty simple to, to operate. No big issues there. No, I think um, I'm going to get one of those too. Now that I got the champagne cork, that's my next buy. I know. We need to find something for, for beer, for beer bottles. If you don't want to drink yeah. beer bottles. Yeah, actually, we need something for soda bottles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That goes flat so fast. Exactly. Okay, with that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, ooh, ooh. And we have a viewer warehouse video which came with this note. Uh, here's an item from my gadget warehouse that I used quite a bit over the years. After recording the video, I noticed it would have, if I had just looked at the license plate, it would have told me that it, it is from 1963. It is my Corvette VHS tape rewinder. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Hey, Dick and Chad. Here's an item that... Uh is from my gadget warehouse. I just can't bring myself to throw away. Looks like a little uh, 68, 69, 66, 65, something like that, Corvette, 60s Corvette. But uh, back when I was young, to watch movies, we'd go to the video rental store and rent VHS tapes. So the problem with renting VHS tapes was uh, when you watch the movie all the way through, you had to rewind the tape. I had a friend who used to fix VHS players, and he said the biggest problem that he would find was that uh, people would uh, rent the tapes from rental places, and they'd been watched a number of times, and the tape itself would start to uh, deteriorate. And so, it would flake off into the VHS machines and cause the machines to uh, not work properly. So he recommended that I get a tape rewinder. So this is uh, the amount of movie not watched. This is the amount of movie watched. So you can see there's a little bit of uh, movie that's been watched but the tape hasn't been rewound. Most rental places if you returned the tape unwound then they would also charge you a tape rewind fee so I bought the Corvette has a little button on the front that's the license plate <laughs> that you push the hood pops up you take the tape slide it in close it has a motor inside that runs and rewinds the tape and that way you're not using your VCR to rewind the tape. And that way you keep your VCR cleaner. That is so interesting. It, and that, oh, you, that's right. When you it's were. done, it's supposed to automatically open and pop the hood up, but uh, I think the amount of work I've put this little gadget through, I've kind of worn it out, but it still kind of works. Anyway, just a funny item that's still in my gadget warehouse. Thanks for watching. That is the perfect gadget warehouse. Isn't it? And, and the gentleman, uh, that's Ryan Winkler. And uh, the rewind he thought was about 50 bucks. I had one. First of all, when they came out with two, uh, you, you probably didn't even have a VCR, right? We did. In fact, yeah. uh, I, was, I was one of the lucky kids. We had uh, an excursion van, which I don't know if you know what that is. It's a, it's a normal van that has basically the top's been chopped off and they've added an extra like foot and a half to it. It almost looks like a oh, mini RV. Yeah, yeah. And we had a tube TV, very small. It must have been less than 12 inches. 
um, and a VCR up in the top. And we would put in, I mean, we had a normal VCR at the house too, uh, but we operated this one because it was in the car whenever we were on long trips. And yeah, all the time, we'd, we'd, and then you'd forget to get another movie. So you'd end up watching the same movie over and over and over and over and over again. Um, yes. <clears throat> well, when they came out with the, uh, you know, first they were 60 minute tapes, then they came out with the, the thinner tape, two hours. They came out with some three hour tape. It took a long time in a VHS machine to rewind it a couple minutes. Yeah. So I too, I didn't even know about the flaking off, although he's talking about rental tapes where people didn't care what they did with them. These were just my own personal tapes, so they weren't that worn. But it was a drag to sit there and wait for that thing to rewind. So I bought one of those. I bought a different. I was not a car person, but I did buy it because it, it looked like a car. And I love the fact you lift the hood. And I think mine is when you threw the tape in and closed it. Not only did the motor go on, the headlights lit. <laughs> uh, and then when your tape was done, the hood popped up and the lights went off. Uh, that is so great. They, yeah, yeah. That is also and just so know. funny that, that uh, you know, to keep your, your – you're using your cassette machine so much – that in order to keep the playheads clean, you have an extra device to rewind. Yes. That's great. That's yes. So and I think it might have been Think Geek, who, you know, they do their April Fool gadgets. Mm -hmm. uh, and they came out with the CD rewinder. Yes. And that was like, uh, that got a lot of play to see who you could sucker into saying, wow, a CD rewinder. Oh, I don't That's... have one of these. <laughs> I don't yeah, have exactly. one of those. Oh. Exactly. Um, so, Ryan Winkler, thank you for your warehouse video. That was really great. So you will get an autographed copy of Mad Magazine, the Donald Trump issue. You'll get one of those Alfred E. Newman, now probably 38-year-old uh, pictures, autographed by Dickie D. And we need more videos. So make a little video, just like uh, Ryan did, two to three minutes, and uh, put it on YouTube. You can make it, you know, private or uh, unlisted and send us the link, mail at gizwiz.tv. And uh, if you live in the U.S. or Canada, you get the magazine and the uh, picture. If you live overseas or anyplace else uh, and we show you a video, we will heap praise upon you, plug whatever you want as uh, our thank you. So we need one like probably for next week. So mail at gizwiz.tv perfect uh and i found the the uh, dvd rewinder here uh okay oh there <laughs> has its own website uh the dvd rewinder i can add it to my cart how much does this guy cost uh it doesn't say <laughs> doesn't seem like uh there's a problem uh processing the transaction with the pro with the seller's website please contact oh, okay. them directly uh, it doesn't look like it's for sale anymore. Gosh darn it. Uh, whenever you want a product, uh, they're just always out of stock. <laughs> yeah, very funny. With that, let's uh, move on to the letter. And our letter is, it's funny that certain gadgets sort of have a life of their own. They, they keep, you keep finding more and more people finding it someplace else. And this is uh, an example of that. Uh, Chris Rogers sends in this email and says, the subject line is wine enthusiast champagne recorker. Hey, Chad, I found your crappy corner gadget online, and it's a bit more expensive than the one you showed in the show. Hmm. Uh, do you have the link there? Oh, uh, my Chad? gosh. $40. Okay, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's still more expensive, but I look closer. It's for four of them. Oh, gosh, I hope so. But thing? it's still <laughs> ten, 10 bucks each. And let me turn around. I got, uh, I bought mine thanks to you. You found it. Did you find it or did someone in the chat room find it? I, that's I got, the one that I got, yeah. 
Yes. Okay. So this was that was strange pricing, wasn't it? It was four dollars or two for five. Right. So I got the two for five. You said you went back, and they were fire selling them for like a buck or so. What did you say last week? Oh gosh. Uh, they were selling like three for five dollars yeah, or something, something like that. Close. Right. Uh, anyway, this this a- actually Wayfair. I got my artificial trees there, but it seems like they have them. That this is supposed to be a discount place, and they have four of them for forty dollars. So they're ten bucks each. Uh, so the uh, if you want them, go to Amazon and look at look through all the ads. There's one you'll find where you can get two of them for uh, five dollars, but they take forever. This. I ordered them probably the day after Chad showed it on New Year's Eve, and it came about ten days ago. Uh, but and now it's not champagne season. No, so. not at all. Well, that's why I you know. want it. You know, keep that champagne fresh. Uh, I need yes, to open. Exactly. I still have the champagne from New Ye- New Year's. I highly doubt that it's still good. Oh my God! With one of these corks. Uh, on yeah, it? I guess I need to open it up and see. Well, let's do it. Do it on next week's show. Oh, yeah, I'll keep it around. Yeah, bring, we'll bring it out. and see if it, see if there's any bubbles in it. Yeah, would, you don't have. You could. It see might if be bubbly vinegar, it. but uh, it'll still <laughs> yeah. have some bubbles in it. <laughs> okay, very good. And that was uh, Chris Rogers uh, at Connecting Point Computer Center, uh, who sent us that email. Thank you, Chris. That is perfect. Uh, another big thank you to our patron supporters. Uh, these guys are our patrons, uh, and uh, they are on Patreon.com. Big, big, big. Look at that. We have three, three, three patrons. Oh, yeah. That. We could use some more. We could. <laughs> well, we let's could. get to four, four, four. How about that? That uh, would be so good. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Uh, big thank you to everyone who supports the show. Really, you guys make this show happen. We could not do it without you so if you enjoy this show and you want to support independent content head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz and we thank you so much for whatever generosity you show us it is really 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 great that we have so many supporters thank you so much Uh, if you want to have even more gizwiz than you have now get on over to gizwiz.biz there you can play more. What the heck is it? This, uh, this gadget is the full gadget. That's what the whole thing is. Uh, now, last week I teased that I actually, I actually think that I might know what this is. And so I'm going to, if I'm right, don't tell me, Dick, because I don't okay, want to really I spoil won't. it. Okay. But what I actually think this is is, uh, a way to keep your extension cords from unplugging. So you put one extension cord in one end, and the other in the other end, and then you clamp it closed, Ooh. and then you keep those extension cords from coming apart. You don't have to do that weird tie a knot in your extension cord to get the two ends to fall apart. But that's actually what I think that this might be. Uh, okay. So that's, that's my guess. Uh, if you and think like, you like your like your guest last week of a submarine, I cannot say anything. <laughs> cannot, I think it was a gerbil submarine. Oh, uh, a gerbil yeah, submarine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yes. Uh, so there are twelve Mad magazines autographed by Dick himself for correct answers, and twenty-four for cute, silly, hilarious, and ridiculous answers. We support creativity here on the Gizwiz, so get your creative juices flowing and get a guessing. Uh, and uh, we can, you can also see the, the past, what the heck is it, on this page as well. If you want to watch this show live, gizwiz.tv is the place to go. By the way, programming note is next week. We will be doing the same time, but a different day. We will be on Wednesday because I am getting on a flight, flying to San Antonio for PAX, uh, the Penny Arcade Expo. And uh, I actually might be hosting uh, out there, which I'm really excited about. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually very excited about that. So uh, we will be a day early if you want to catch the show live. And where do you do that? Gizwiz.tv. We are live right now. Uh, You can join the chat room uh, right below the video. Uh, and choose a nickname. Choose the channel. There we are. Yeah, join our chat room. We have a lot of fun. Please do. 
And uh, if you don't catch the show live, no big deal. We have all the old episodes here for you. You can either click the episodes tab at the top or scroll down to see all those episodes or subscribe on iTunes, HD, SD, and audio and RSS or on YouTube, just like that. If you want to find that Patreon link as well, we have a Patreon uh, tab where you can see that. Click this big blue banner and it'll take you right there. Or if you want to give one time via PayPal, oh my gosh, we appreciate that too. So thank you so, so, so much. There's a link right below that banner. Thank you everybody who came. Uh, hang on, I hung out in the chat room and watched the show. I guess we'll see you next week. I'll be here.